Okay, we're back again, probably for the 13th time for me at the Weldon dump. And we got Tommy Perry here again. He keeps saying he's going to show up, but then he never <laughs> does when I show up. So I'm trying, I'm trying to let him dig the spot out, then I go behind. <laughs> oh, that's it. I find a good spot, and then he comes the day after I say I'm going to be here and digs it. <laughs> that's a good strategy. But I try and wipe out my spot before I leave for the day. And I was going to dig right here where he's digging, but when I look at that, I say, no, why would I want to get down in that mud? <laughs> oh, you've only been here for seven minutes and you are. I think some of them do and some of them don't. Is that true? Um, all of them that I've seen have that monogram on them. All but of them? Except there's another variation that's newer and machine made with a completely different design. And they're made of good glass, but that one always is cracked when I find those. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. So how much do you think you're going to get for that one? I don't know, Scott. I don't, tell, I don't tell people how much I get for bottles. I just tell on you, but not on Facebook. <laughs> you just tell me so I get jealous and wonder how you get three times more than I do. Yeah, I like it. Well, you got, you got to pay people for, uh, you got to charge people for you. This is how you do it when you sell bottles. You got to charge people for your, uh, for your, uh, Gas, you got to charge them for your time. Cause and, me and you dig rare bottles. And pain and suffering. Pain and suffering, cuts on the hand, band aids. <laughs> and sleeping yeah. in a van in a parking yeah, lot. Sleeping in your van at Walmart, twenty below zero. Yeah. 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 That's a... Come on, you can find a good one. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's I'm a Kelvin slicker. No, I'm gonna be like how Scott says this. Oh, it's just a cherry cobbler from Weldon. Mm, Worth yeah. about a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, by the time I post the videos of this, this dump will be wiped out. So, if you think you're going to find anything here, I doubt it. Yeah. Another cherry cobbler? That's a cherry cobbler from Weldon. <laughs> now, it's the rare Rocky Mount variety. That is Rocky Mount. It's not teal, so you can tell if it's that's, that's a Rocky a pale aqua like that. that. It does have a crack right there, but I don't really care. I think that's the first one I dug out whole from Rocky Mount to come out whole. Oh, so you keep cracked bottles too? Yeah. Then I put a mud inside and sell them. You rub mud over the cracks <laughs> and then people don't know? Yeah, don't even. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I've heard you're not supposed to wash your bottles when you find them. Now I know why. <laughs> Save it. Okay, it's working now. Yeah. So I'll let Scott kind of explain to you about this bottle right here. This is the fatty. So that's the exact same body as the regular one. It's just that the neck is half an inch shorter and it yep. makes it look a lot different. Yeah. Now this one is busted up, but I'll probably give that to Scott because I think he wanted one. <laughs> That's, that's supposedly worth a lot of money if you find a mint one. Well, I'm going to show you. Look, this is bottle digging. <laughs> <laughs> this is bottle digging 101, baby. Okay, that's that's what I found yesterday in the hole that I was digging. Is one of those that was only a little bit cracked. Yeah, so that's that, a hard. That is, you're right. That is a hard bottle to find right there. I think the top broke off of it. Yeah. Because it's coming out too easy. Yeah. Alive. Oh, you actually found a whole bottle. Yep, so this is a mint cold. And it's and the rare upside down embossing too, because they always come out of that spot. And Scott jinxed me, because this one ain't even got a name on it. <laughs> but, but how many cracks does it have? Well, we're going to see right here. If everyone know what this spot is, me and Scott's got a sale going on. $50,000 a piece and we'll walk away. But you'll be getting bottles like this, just like that. So you can get in touch with Scott, and we're, re we're willing to sail. There's your, that's gonna be icy blue too. That's pretty color, and for me, I don't really see any issues with this. Oh, come on, it's gotta be cracked. No, nope. I don't see nothing. You gotta stick it in the bucket of water, that's what it's there for. Yep. Well, we gotta keep the t temperature. 
And you were wrong. That one was whole, even though it was right up against yeah, the Yeah, I mean, other. it felt it come out too easy. I just figured it was on. Uh, that one was cracked. On the top, didn't you? You did better than I did all day yesterday. Yeah. I couldn't find any that didn't have cracks in them. I'm just waiting for you to get wore out, then I'll take over this hole when you leave. <laughs> yeah, that walk we did a while ago. That's, yeah. That's why I don't go back there. Oh, come on, I'm four years older than you are. I gotta retire in one year, so you can tell me where all the dumps are at. That's pretty, man. You're gonna take up spray painting bottles and selling them for five dollars like I do. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Scott taught me this right here. Put your, I always put your bottles in water right there. And I'll be honest with you, that really works. Oh man, don't tell me you found another three hundred dollar Pepsi. I can tell what that is from all the way over here. It's a short neck Pepsi from Weldon. As we said in Youngsville, cha-ching, baby! Woo-hoo! There's your shorty. Come out perfect. Come out. Then my fiance right there is going to come get it and uh -huh. wash it off right quick. Oh, really? There it is. We need a creek wash it out. Probably a bunch of taking the bottles out right there. Need to that is. That's one of the rarest ones with the Pepsi's right the there. Neck. That's the short neck. Scott can explain better to you on his video, but and that's some welding. That's really a hard bottle to find. It's in the book for $300 25 years ago. It's in ago. Tommy Perry's Coca Cola book. You ain't got to buy it. You can just listen to it right there. That's $300, baby. Baby needs some new shoes. <laughs> Boy, look at that. Yes, sir. All mine are chipped or cracked. I guess you are the forest gump of bottle digging. Yeah. You just get lucky all the time. Man. This he right says here is of me. I get all my knowledge. Am I on video yet? Remember that day you found forty thousand dollars worth of stuff? Yeah, come on. Um, some belts, belt buckets. You gotta so, see a picture of that someday. So, am I on video yet? Am I still video? Yeah. So the reason I uh, I learned how to bottle dig, if I want to learn how to bottle dig, get on uh, Scott's uh, videos on YouTube. You need to watch them. And, uh, and I, I ain't lying about that. It's really good to watch his videos. I've learned a lot of stuff from him. I mean, even this hole right here, he uh, he actually dug this hole out and, uh, and let me and my fiance Angie dig it right here. So. Everybody in the bottle world ain't cruel. You know what the weird thing is, is a lot of people comment that they learned a lot from watching my videos and yet I try not to teach in my videos. <laughs> Notice how I, I don't give probing lessons in my videos, but I do show myself using a probe a little bit. And some people said that's all they needed to see. Oh, I think man. that was perfect. My beautiful aunt Faye gonna wash it off for us while she's sitting right here looking at me dig bottles today. Yeah. Make her cook supper tonight. Oh man, you got another hundred dollar bottle. Yeah. Tell them what you got, buddy. You good? That's yeah. crazy. I never find those in tax. And then showing the back got that um bossing on the back. See the air bubbles? <laughs> yeah. I love air bubbles. Yeah, I got five of those, but none of them are perfect. <laughs> okay, I was digging up there the last few days. Now I'm starting to dig over here. There's already a giant pit over here, and the guy tunneled at three feet. So I'm over about four feet. I'm going to go straight down and tunnel at one foot in there. Hopefully I'll do as well as they're doing over on their spot. I didn't think I'd have to dig three feet to find the first piece of glass, but... I'm just now getting down to it. What? It's a medicine bottle. And it's broken, of course. But I was expecting a soda. Okay, there's that one. 
That's actually a beer, I think. It's kind of wider than a soda. Well, it's been pretty slim picking so far, but I just found this one that's really beautiful. It's from the big city of Norfolk, which generally isn't too good, but it's a pretty bottle. It might be worth 40 or $50 to somebody. Okay, I see a bottle here. It looks like a whole one. It's probably a beer, though, because it's so big. I think it's a whiskey cylinder. not it's some kind of a food product maybe a vinegar okay got a hobble skirt showing up and it's all there oh it's got a big base chip and it was the Chadbourne so that's pretty rare I'm gonna bring it home anyway well, this is a very sparse hole, but that might be a good thing because less breakage, I see a whole bottle right there. Oh, great. It's just one of those Kelford Coke products that has just a tiny bit of embossing on it. But at least it's not cracked. Man, this is what a true bottle digger looks like, this right here. <laughs> Make sure you get the mud on the face right too, but I mean, I've been doing it all day, son. Yeah. But I'm going home with four bottles. <laughs> and uh, like I say, Scott, I don't know how many he's got, but he's in a honey hole right here. Don't let him fool you. He's in the honey hole. And uh, But I'm calling in a date, and he's going to stay out here till dark. Say with his flashlight and stuff. I can't do that. Okay, that one's sticking out. Hopefully it'll be intact. No, not quite. Well, I thought I had a soda bottle mix, but as I got further down there, it's looking like another big food product, and then there's another one right beside it. So, what's up with that? It's supposed to be a soda dump. Okay, how about that? There's a whole one. It's just one of those from Weldon Coca-Cola Bottling Company. What I call the minimal embossed variety. But I don't see any damage to it. I just knocked something out of the wall. It's another one of these little wine bottles. Hmm. Interesting. The bottles are far and few between in this hole, but at least there's a large quantity of intact ones. It's another minimally embossed Kelford Coke product. I see one sticking out here. Pretty sure it's a whiskey flask. Stuck in the mud pretty tight though. Hopefully I won't crack it. Okay. It's an older blown in a mold one. But of course there's no embossing on it. Okay, I got a big half gallon Amber, probably a chemical bottle. Yeah, that's a really big one. It's full gallon size for sure. It's a giant. Blown in the mold. Looks like maybe it's machined, it's so dirty I can't tell, but it's surprising to find a bottle that big in here that isn't broken. Okay, we've got a chipped bottle, but it might be still worth something. It's a hobble skirt. If it's from Chadbourne, it'd be a good one, but it's from Cincinnati, Ohio for some reason. Okay, I got one showing here. It's intact, and it is... What the hell? A Warley's? That's from Selma, where I live. 
but it does have a crack in it. But yet, I do not even have one of these in my collection. Just found a milk bottle, or what's left of it. It says registered on the bottom arch, so I don't know if it's a welded one or not. Then I got something showing up right here. You're not going to believe what happened to me a few minutes ago. The police showed up with guns pointed at Okay, I'm back home from a four-day dig trip. My memory card ran out just about an hour before the end of the trip, so... Two of the best bottles didn't get captured on film. But here's one of them. It's in nearly mint condition. Suffolk Pepsi. It's machine made. Only problem is there's some little flakes along the inner crown. But otherwise, it's perfect. And then I found a poison. It's the most common poison there is. But it's at least a $12 bottle. It's got no damage to it. So that's pretty nice. It's a very clean example. And as you've seen, I've found plenty of these before. But this is the only truly mint one I've ever found. Took 13 days of digging there to find a perfect one. But I think I'm going to put this one in my collection because I already have one, but this one's just got the sentimental value. And I think it's slightly better looking than the one I have already. So that's a pretty good one. The last one of these I saw sell on eBay sold for $250, which is crazy because just a month and a half before that one sold for only something like 75 then I found yet another one of these ring neck coca-cola bottles from Kelford I really don't like these because they're so minimally embossed but this is one of the few that's truly in mint condition no chips or fish eyes or fractures of any kind in this one. I was about to tell you the story that I was digging there for the fourth day and two two young men came at me and said put your hands up and they were pointing guns at my head from 60 feet away. I couldn't tell if they were just joking around or what because they they said they were the police but they were just wearing ordinary clothes so I put my hands up for a while Then, as I dropped my hands after I thought they were okay with me they said no oh, put those back up then they came over and they actually put handcuffs on me and questioned me for five to ten minutes but then they said it's okay I guess if nobody complains about you digging here I guess you can go ahead and continue yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that I bring home so much damaged stuff to spray paint. I mean, a lot of these bottles are intact, but have maybe 10 cracks in them. Here's another example. This is that one from Fargo. And I did look this one up. It is very rare. But in this condition... There's no glass missing, but it's a pretty unsightly crack right there. And that's pretty bad looking stuff right there. But a very rare bottle that's all there intact. It's got to be worth at least $25 to somebody. And this really unusual CC Coca-Cola. It's cracked up a lot worse than I thought also. Got that giant crack right through the middle of the embossing and the crown is sheared off. Well, I picked this up off the surface. It's a good looking bottle, but the top is sheared off. But I thought I'd bring it home anyway. I might give five or six dollars for it. And I found this 10 pin of a different variation. Of course, the top's broken off, but since I didn't find one of these before, 
I thought you might like to see this one. 